Hey, it's Jake Mace. I've been practicing Chinese martial arts, including Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and Qigong for over 20 years. I've been teaching you guys Chinese style martial arts here on my YouTube channel for over 10 years since YouTube was first created. And we now have over a million subscribers and close to 130 million views on our channel. I don't know if you guys know this, I have a second YouTube channel called Vegan Athlete, where I talk about gardening and my vegan diet lifestyle, which is a diet that I believe feeds the strength, the flexibility, the youthfulness, the longevity and the health of my martial arts practice. I'm currently sitting at 14,000 feet elevation here in a town called Kaza in northern India on the Tibetan border. I was born in Canada and I've grown up in America. But I recently left America to travel the world and figure out what I want to do with my life and where I want to live. I've been video blogging and covering my entire exit from America and my travels throughout Europe and Asia and I've been airing them clip by clip on my Vegan Athlete YouTube channel. But I thought maybe my martial artists out there on this channel would also like to see the Tai Chi, the Qigong, the Kung Fu, the gardening, the diet and the travels I go through over the next year. Of course I'm still teaching and uploading Kung Fu, Tai Chi and Qigong, but I thought many of you out there, the martial artists that follow my channel, would love to see what I'm doing, how I'm training, and where I'm going on my adventures. So I've taken the short videos I've been airing on my Vegan Athlete channel, and I've combined them into super vlogs or super video blogs for you guys who want to follow my journeys, my travels, my training, my food, and all my activities around the world. What you're about to see is my exit from America, a little bit of backstory, and the first of my adventures. Please comment down below, hit the like button. I hope you enjoy. And if you don't want to watch these super vlogs, you can always just skip them and come back for my next Kung Fu, Qigong, and Tai Chi posts. I want to challenge you all out there watching to test yourself, question yourself, go out and meet new people, go out and see new places, go out, get new experiences, and learn as many skills as you can. Trust me, your life will be better for it. I hope my videos can somehow speak to you and inspire you. And without further ado, you're about to watch my first travel super vlog. My name is Jake Mace. People call me the vegan athlete. I've been vegan for 17 years. I've dreamed my whole life of being a professional golfer. I've been playing golf since I was three years old. Martial arts is in my blood. I've been practicing since I was eight years old. My martial arts YouTube channel has about a million subscribers. I specialize in Chinese Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and Qigong. The inner and outer harmony that Kung Fu training gives you has led me to veganism and gardening. Growing your own food is the most powerful thing you can do. I've taught millions of people to garden in person and here at my Vegan Athlete YouTube channel. Every minute food gets more expensive, for God's sakes, grow a garden. All of you have watched here on YouTube as I transformed my third of an acre desert landscape in Phoenix, Arizona into a thriving food forest home to over 250 fruit trees, 25 raised bed gardens, dozens and dozens of animals, countless native and edible bushes, cactus, herb, trees, flowers, and even a koi fish pond. Then in 2017, I went through some significant life changes and my time in my desert garden would be done. Life is filled with pleasure and pain, success and failure, light and dark. I was now living in an apartment but still burning with the desire to grow myself off the food grid, but faced with an uncertain future. I returned to my roots. I stuck to my routine to reestablish my focus. The universe sent me a dream woman named Nicole. I revisited the place of my birth, British Columbia, and poured myself back into my Chinese martial arts training. This includes Tai Chi. Tai Chi practice is an amazing art form for gardeners, allowing us to connect with the nature that surrounds us. I returned to Arizona and the desert with new goals, new desires, new passion, and a new direction for where I want my life to go. I'm thankful to Arizona for bringing Nicole and I together. Arizona gave me its knowledge of hot, dry gardening, which I think overtrains you to be able to grow anywhere. I planted my final fruit tree and sold everything I own, including my car. I spent my final days in Arizona building myself mentally, spiritually, and physically. My future will be a test. My future will be exciting. My future will not be alone, but will take everything I have in my gas tank. I know my training in the martial arts will pay off not by allowing me to win fights, but rather allowing me to win at life. 
In gardening, there is one great teacher, nature. You must get out and experience nature if you are to garden successfully. She will teach you about balance. She will teach you about permaculture. She will teach you about the soil. She will speak to you if you are able to quiet your mind and listen. Nicole and I packed up a moving truck with any small items we wanted to keep but couldn't carry inside of a backpack. We had a going away party where we said goodbye to all our friends and family and just left. The first leg of our journey was saying goodbye to the best part of Arizona, the Grand Canyon. I especially love practicing my Tai Chi and Qigong in nature, and the Grand Canyon is such an incredible venue. We hiked halfway down, spent the night, and drove out of Arizona forever. During the drive, we found vegan food, and we made plenty of stops to stay awake, keep the body and the blood flowing. After San Francisco, we drove into Oregon, Nicole's home state. After meeting up with Nicole's sister and catching a much needed morning workout in Portland, we drove into the northeastern part of Oregon through the Columbia River Gorge, which is one of the most beautiful areas in the USA. Hi, this is Multnomah Falls. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I like it. We visited and said our final goodbyes to Nicole's family, and we even got to meet up and celebrate Nicole's birthday with her best friend Summer and sister Shandy with vegan cupcakes. I did my final workout in America, packed up all my belongings into my Atlas and wandered packs, and before I knew it, we had a new life. Where am I? Where am I going? Who will I meet? What skills will I learn? What country should I live in? A couple things are for sure. I will not be alone. I will be outside my comfort zone. I will become a sponge which soaks in the language, the customs, and the skills of different people in different countries, and I will never be the same. Gardening is a universal language. Feeding yourself healthy, ripe food from living soil should be a universal goal of all people. People always ask me, Jake Mace, what's your religion? What's your spirituality? What do you believe in? Well, my religion is a balance of hard work and rest. My religion is fitness. My religion is growing the healthiest plant-based food possible for free at home. My name is Jake Mace. Some call me the vegan athlete. I'm on a journey. My eyes are open. I can see the light. I'm almost there. Will you join me? guys here's the finalized pack all my stuff I'm bringing on the woofing adventure with Nicole we've got two packs so one is the Atlas adventure pack and this is gonna be my main hiking backpack I've had it for over a year now and this pack is a beast it holds camera gear and all my regular gear and I've taken it on 40 mile treks through water already as a test that's gonna be my main backpack when we travel between countries this wandered pack 
is going to be the day pack. I'm going to pack my sensitive stuff in there and take it when we go into the cities or into work. And all of my stuff like passports, computers, and camera are going to be in there. And it's an awesome camera bag. So both these two bags are my two favorites. This is the Titanium Ridge wallet that I just got. That's freaking amazing. It's a minimalist wallet. Let's pack it all up into the pack. Three, two, one. There we go. Atlas, meet Wandered. My name is Jake Mace. People call me the vegan athlete. This is Portugal. That's my girlfriend, Nicole, on the right. We're gonna travel the world together as a couple for a year. We flew to Lisbon to do a program called Woofing worldwide organization of organic farming. We're both vegan vegetarians, don't consume or use animal products, myself for 18 years, Nicole for over a year. Our woofing project will take us away from Lisbon to a train station called Funchera. There we'll meet our woofing family and they'll drive us over 40 minutes to the farm, which is located in a city of Portugal called Orique. We're getting on our first train here. Yeah. Going to Fair. 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 Our first woofing site. Okay, let's get on there. Let's go. Our host woofing family met us at the train station. They'd heard we'd done YouTube videos, so they came with a camera and videoed our arrival. Hi, are you guys Reinhardt? Reinhardt? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yes, it's me. And Kirsten? Yes. And this is Jake. Ah, hi, Jake. Good to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for picking us up. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, huh? how are you? Huh? Good to meet you. Good to meet you, Jake. That's it. Thanks for picking us up. I'm sorry we're a little bit late. Yeah. How are you guys? We were waiting. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I couldn't control the train. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first time. In Portugal. In Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do um we're gonna try to do some woofing in different countries and you're the first one. We left the train station with Reinhard and Kirsten. German couple who had moved to Portugal years ago to run their farm. Boats, planes, trains, and automobiles are sacred spaces that give us incredible overviews of the lands we are visiting. The farm's name, Nova Terro, which is Esperanto for New Earth.
Novotero is almost entirely off the grid. Their power comes from solar. Their water is from a well, which is also pumped out of the ground by solar panels. Reinhardt and Kirsten are both spiritually connected to their horses, seven of whom live with them at Novotero. The land here has an energy to it. We both agreed when we arrived, this place was special. To Reinhard, horses are spiritual animals that are able to look inside of us into our very souls. Much of the property, in addition to most of the land surrounding the property, is towered by eucalyptus trees, which are grown by the local people to harvest and sell to paper companies to help pay off the lands. is Nova Tero, the new <laughs> earth. You heard about it? Yes. Sitting on 14 hectares of land, Nicole and I arrived at Nova Tero during the rare time of the year when all the spring flowers were blooming. And they were spectacular. So beautiful. Mm. Their water is essentially free. Their solar panels able to pump more than 50,000 liters of water per day. But their focus at Novotero was not growing a food forest of edible fruit, nut trees. Their focus was the horses, providing them a refuge, living with them as equals. Nicole and I will be staying here, the Wolfing Quarters, a cute, newly renovated apartment that's set half into the landscape. We took advantage of the hot weather and Nicole harvested the wild lavender that grew everywhere as a weed and combined it with some superfoods we found like the fissalis. We're gonna go eat dinner and then we'll show you what the apartment looks like because it's really adorable. It's this just nice big open space. It has two beds. Uh, it's a cute little mini fridge, shelf to put our things, a cute little lamp. We're on three days no sleep right now, and we have to go get some food and then get to sleep. Yeah. The food at Novotero would be provided to the woofers for free in exchange for the work they did on the property. Food is 100% vegan because Kirsten and Reinhardt had been vegan for a few years. This is fine with us and actually was the main reason we chose Novotero as our host woofing property. The meals were very disciplined. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast always occurred around 11 a.m., lunch around 3 to 4 p.m., and dinner late in the evening in the 9 o'clock hour. Every meal at Novotero was a delicacy. For the most part, breakfast and lunch was the same. Each day breakfast consists of breads and spreads. 
combined with fresh tomatoes, fresh herbal tea, fresh sweet peppers, freshly cured olives, and whatever else Reinhardt and Kirsten had been preparing and harvesting from the landscape. Lunch with cereals. Kirsten loved to prepare chia made with coconut or soy milk. Combined with fresh fruit and coffee, this was my favorite meal of the day. One time, we even had crepes. Dinner was a delightful, gourmet, homemade meal every time. We couldn't wait to hear that dinner bell ring across the property, and we came running to see what Kirsten had prepared for us on that evening. The food was delicious, nutrient dense, and 100% vegan, and would be the fuel that would carry us through the hard work and the long hours we put in each day. Is this what you signed up for? Yeah, that's what I signed up for. Really? Yes. For hard manual labor of sticks? first few days, Reinhardt and I worked together to organize and weather protect a year of supply of hay for the horses. Of course, I had to keep my martial arts sharp and I did this Rocky style using the hay as my training partner. We worked hard over 12 hour days trying to beat the upcoming rains. Nicole and I were working separately, which wasn't my first choice, but she had some different projects she was tending to. Are you working out there? Cutting tea? Yeah. Good job. Hey, so what are you doing? I am cutting and preparing tea to dry it to make tea. What is this tea? Sistus Incarna. You can put a link down below to the Wikipedia page for it. Okay. So you got a blister already. Yes. You look like a professional now with that tape. Good job. <laughs> Your feet look very hippie-like. Oh, uh, thanks. Still girly, but... Got a couple of cuts and whatever. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, so I had to, there's, on the hillside, there's like bushes and bushes of this flower. Of this Sistus? Um, let's see, then grab a good one. I had to cut it, and so I have two piles going here. Uh -huh. I cut just these pieces off, and then I discard that one in the discard. So you're just taking the tips? Yeah, just taking the tips, and then I bunch this up, like this, and then I'm just chopping it very finely. 
in this bucket. And then this is the bucket that we'll keep and that will uh, that will dry. dry. Let's meet back here in a second and tell everybody how it tastes. Yes. When we drink it. Yeah. Is it cute, by the way? <laughs> Thanks. I mentioned in my last video that martial arts and fitness is in my blood and may even count as my spirituality. I no longer have a gym that I go to, so I'll have to use the work and the farming tools available to me if I am to keep the athlete part of vegan athlete. Every day Nicole found time to continue her yoga practice. This whooping trip is unique. We are intimately connected with the family and the landscape of the property that we're staying at. Reihard and Kirsten ate with us, worked with us, and we even had our leisure time with them, which oftentimes involved getting in Reinhardt's truck and discovering the natural beauty that surrounded us of Arik. We even did some yoga together as Nicole and I showed them some of the partner yoga we're working on, called Acro Yoga. We're still beginners, but Reinhard and Kirsten loved it. Gardening is hard work, and no two gardens are the same. In Portugal, at least Orique, where we were staying, so much of the landscape was towering with eucalyptus trees that were used by the people as a resource to get money by selling them to paper companies to then pay off their land. I was told you can grow enough eucalyptus on an acre of land to pay it off completely within eight years. I was overwhelmed with how much beauty was in Portugal. The town of Orique, where we were, was famous for its ruins and its history. Ruins such as the Castle of Cola, or the Castro de Cola, an ancient site that includes many megalithic and calcolithic monuments, including Necropole of the Bronze and Iron Ages. The way that I understand it, Necropole is a cemetery, and the ruins of these ancient times were all around us. some places here normally the full moon is coming from here uh -huh. and goes up here and then wow wow and then and then the next day you have x-men powers you have like superpowers yes <laughs> yep it depends on what the kind of question you are asking in your meditation huh? mm -hmm. so what's going to be your question for the next Moon. Oh, this uh, we have 14, no more or less, no, we have 10 days time for, for thinking about it. Yeah, so the question might come. So, but the question is then important, not now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I will think about it later. And maybe private, just for yourself. And... So or so, my yeah. questions are almost private. Yes. <laughs> Our time in Portugal was not even halfway finished. It was difficult working for someone else. In the moment, it's often difficult to know what you're learning from a challenging experience. You won't believe what happened to us next. <laughs>